Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix, descale, and clean this Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista system. So is your coffee not as hot? Are you not getting as much as you used to on the coffee maker side or the espresso side? And this will even help if you're on the espresso side if you're not getting anything out. Also, when your clean light illuminates, you've got a clean light here under the carafe side and you've got a clean light here under the espresso side. So I'm going to show you this with the Ninja Brewer Descaling Solution, but the manual also says you can use vinegar. I'm using distilled white vinegar. You can just use regular, regular white vinegar. Now this was a little hard to find. I only found it on the Ninja website. And this will also fix. So if your coffee maker's taken a long time to brew coffee, it'll fix that. And same over here. If you're, it's taken a long time to brew a shot with the capsules, and this will also fix that. Now there's the clean light. That's what it's gonna look like right underneath the coffee bean side or the capsule side. You've got two clean lights and that tells you whether the coffee maker needs cleaned or this side needs cleaned. There's a cleaning procedure for each one. So you're gonna to have to give yourself some time. To clean, it's an automatic process. To clean the coffee maker side takes about an hour and a half. To clean the capsule side takes about two hours. Okay, so first for both of them, you're gonna make sure there's no pod in here. Make sure there's no pod up here. Make sure there's no we don't want any coffee. We don't need a filter, but we do need the, we do need the filter basket installed. Okay, so if you're going to use the Ninja descaling solution, you're going to use half a bottle. So this is an 8-ounce bottle. You're going to use 4 ounces, and there's a line here. You're going to dump 4 ounces into the water reservoir. So empty your water reservoir and dump 4 ounces into it. If you're using the, the vinegar, it takes a little bit more vinegar. You're gonna fill the vinegar up to the 16 or the 16 ounce mark, which is the travel mug mark right here. So pure vinegar to here, four ounces of this. Now the rest of it's gonna be water to the max line. That gives us our proper ratio. Okay, so let's dump this in. Again, it doesn't use a whole lot, just half of it. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill from here to here with fresh water. Okay, so I've got it filled with fresh water and the descaling solution. And it takes the, the same ratio for both sides. So the same ratio when you wanna do this and the same amount for this side. So we're gonna do this side, the capsule side first. So press the capsule button. We're gonna take this little drip tray out. Now it does come with this adapter. This adapter fits right here. It's got like a little cut out there, so it's gonna fit there. Get your carafe, take the lid off your carafe. And now the craft is designed to sit right there on there because you're going to end up running that whole reservoir through this and this will capture it all. Okay, no pod, capsule side selected. Now we're going to hit the clean button. It's going to be flat. It's going to say start brew 60 ounces. So I hit the clean button. The clean light is lit. Now press the center button. There's the countdown timer. It's going to count down two hours. This is going to start and stop. Um, that's going to help clean that inside that machine. That's why it takes two hours. At the end of that, we, all, we have to do a fresh water rinse. So we're going to fill the water reservoir up, clean it all out, and run fresh water through it on the same using the Lungo. So we, we'll run three Lungos through it to get it nice and clean. So again, just let it sit here. It may seem like it's not doing anything because it's going to start and stop. So right now it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, but it's going to start up here in a second. Okay, so it started up again. It's running some more through. Now that water that it's running through there is hot, so be careful with it. Okay, so I've walked away from it for a while. It's all done. Now we're going to do the fresh water rinses. I'm going to take the carafe, empty this out, and clean it out. Okay, so around back, the water reservoir, I emptied out what was left in there, rinsed it out with some soap and water, and filled it up with fresh water. Now again, make sure there's no pod here. Now we're going to make sure we select Lungo. We've got over ice, lungo, and espresso. So do the lungo, and then just press the brew button. We're done using the cleaning mode. And then press the start. And so this is considered the fresh water rinse. Again, that water is going to be really hot. If you use vinegar, I like to do about five or six of these lungos. It seems like the vinegar, the taste, and the smell kind of just lingers in the machine a little bit longer. Okay, so we're done. We're going to make sure we press Lungo again and start. Again, three to four of these. OK, 
Okay, so we're all done with this side. Let's move over to the craft side. So we're gonna press the craft button. We're gonna fill up the water reservoir with our vinegar or our descaling solution. And one more thing, make sure this might have filled up with some water. So make sure you empty out this too. Okay, so this time I'm gonna use vinegar. I filled it up to those, this line right here, the travel mug line, which is 16 ounces with vinegar. And then I went from here to here with fresh water. Okay, so I got my craft back in, make sure the lid's on, make sure the drip stop is open. I've got the craft button selected, now hit the clean. It's gonna say 60 ounces, hit the start button. Now it says 75 minutes. So this one does, doesn't take quite as long, but it's gonna be the same process. It's gonna run some of that through there, then it's gonna stop, run some through and stop. So you can walk away from this. It will beep at you when it's all done. And again, that water will be hot, so be careful. And after this, we'll want to dump that out, clean the reservoir out, clean this out, and do a fresh water rinse with a full 12 pot cup of coffee. Now at any time, you can cancel this. So if you want to cancel it, say you're running out of time, just press that button and it will stop. You'll still need to fresh water rinse it, but at least you can cancel it, and then you'll need to run some water through it. Okay, so it beeped at me, it let me know that it's done. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna rinse this out, clean it out, and fill the water reservoir up also. Okay, so I've got the water reservoir cleaned out. It's got fresh water in it. This is clean, carafe. Let's do the full 55 ounces. Just do a classic brew is fine. And just press the start button. So now it's gonna run that fresh water completely through the coffee maker to clean out that vinegar. Sometimes it does take two. With the vinegar, I have noticed the smell and taste kind of linger a little bit. I do like this, this Ninja Brewer descaling solution. It seems like it doesn't smell as much. It's a little easier to rinse out at the end. Now doing this should have gotten rid of those clean lights. At the end of the process, after it completes the whole timing, the clean light should go out. If your clean light doesn't go out, I would unplug the machine for about 30 minutes to an hour, plug it back in, that should reset it also. So keeping up on the descaling, I descale mine about every three to four months. I don't have super hard water. Uh, the way you know you have hard water is around your shower head. If you've got a bunch of hard water calcium deposits, like it's a white stuff that kind of sticks to it, that's how you know you have a lot of hard water. Then you may want to do it a little sooner. Now you can use a bottled water and filtered water in these coffee machines. That does help out. Here I've got one I've opened up. Now this is not exactly this one, but coffee makers typically operate the same. They have a heating element. So this is the heating element that's going to heat up that water. And the hard water deposits are going to start to stick to the inside and it won't be able to heat your water up as, as good. That's why we descale, and it's important to stay up on it. So if your coffee's not tasting as good, if you're not getting the right proportion amount of coffee through the coffee maker, this could also be the problem. And on the pod side, it really helps clean out that pod area, because you will get some kind of some coffee grounds where that pod thing closes, so it really kind of flushes out that whole area. I've got several different videos on this coffee maker. I really do like it. It makes some really nice drinks. Below the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. It helps my videos out on YouTube. I bought this, this coffee maker with my own money. I will put a link to it in the show description notes. I am a Ninja affiliate also, but I did buy this with my own money. But I'll put a link to it. It will take you to the Ninja website where you can purchase it. This has just been a very nice coffee maker. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.